Mornington Peninsula is the ultimate all-year-round playground for Victorians. And when you're surrounded by Port Phillip Bay, Western Port Bay and Bass Strait, you're guaranteed that everything in between is something special. And if you want to see the best of it, you'll have to get on your bike. Today I'm hooking up with Kerry Schultz from Vine Tours to sample the very best of the peninsula. Customised tours start with a bus pickup in Melbourne and then take the one hour trip to Arthur's Seat. From here you start your journey 1,000 feet above sea level and then you're set to go anywhere on the peninsula. Our first stop, Main Ridge Dairy, a farmhouse cheese factory and goat dairy famous for their handmade cheeses. You can tell I'm going to like this tour already. Oh, very much so. That's why we picked you. <laughs> After a quick sample of all things goat with owner Bess Nixon, we're off to our next location, the Sunny Ridge Strawberry Farm. If they can make it using strawberries, you'll find it here, including cider and sparkling wine. You can even go out and pick strawberries, but for me, it was all about conserving my energy. Now, this is amazing. Well, don't you worry, you'll have time to work it off next. Guilt free, love it. And once you've loaded up on strawberries, there's plenty of fuel in the tank, to move on to the serious stuff. All right, Kerry, quit your stalling. This is the peninsula. There's got to be a winery somewhere. But quit your whinging, Glenn. We'll get there. True to her word, we arrived at our first winery, Montelzo. This is, without a doubt, one of the most popular vineyards on the peninsula. You can do a tasting, grab a bite to eat in their award-winning restaurant, or take a stroll through their sculpture collection. Either way, there's plenty to cheers about. Cheers. cheers. From Montelto, it's a very short ride next door to Tux Ridge, another one of the peninsula's best wineries, where all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the view. We shouldn't work so hard. I know, it's a terrible life, isn't it? It is. From Tux Ridge, it's off to our final stop on the tour, Merrick's General Store, where you can sample a huge range of wines from all over the peninsula or grab a coffee and a bite to eat. Kerry, thanks for a fantastic day. I've had a lot of fun. I'm glad you had a wonderful time. I did, but work isn't over for me. You can relax, but I've got one more place to show the people at home because this is the Mornington Peninsula and the fun never stops. Get your eyes off my cake. <laughs> if you're looking to combine great wine, amazing food and somewhere beautiful to put your feet up for the night, look no further than Kudos at the Vines in Red Hill. This luxury accommodation nestled on 20 acres of vines is the perfect escape. With each villa containing king-size beds, lounge area with spa, kitchenette and ensuite, plus of course, fantastic views. Here at Kudos at the Vines, you've got four villas to choose from and when it comes to couples, these guys really know how to shine on the romance, which is making me very hungry. Just a short stroll through the vines on the property will have you at the Vines restaurant where head chef James Redfern combines the very best of what the peninsula has to offer. His dishes are made from fresh local produce and are described as simple with no attitude on the plate. And with specialties like bay trout with local mussel fritters, King George whiting and kingfish, your stay at Kudos at the Vines just got a whole lot better. So how did you like that for a tour of the Mornington Peninsula? I know, kudos to me again. No need to thank me, it's all in a day's work. For more information on Kudos at the Vines or Vine Tours, you can give them a call or jump on their websites.